Recently, we have launched a new product for route planning and task management. Part of the solution is a driver application for the driver. Drivers can easily use it for task management, navigating on the road, and communicating with the dispatcher. The application can be used both with mobile phones and tablets. For the driver to be able to use the application, the login credentials must be created by the dispatcher in TrustTrack platform first. What we need to do first is go to Drivers module on the left side. You can create a new driver. For example, let's fill in the driver name and surname details here and save it. Now we have the driver created. We can assign the vehicle to the driver in this stage if we want to. Also, we have to fill in the application login details in this step. You can create the driver username for login into the application. For example, driver2020. Also, you must create a password for logging into the driver app. Once we have the credentials entered here, we must press Save. Finally, you have driver app credential information available. When the driver will be signing in to the driver application for the successful login, he will need to know the client ID, login name, and password. Dispatcher needs to inform the driver of what the login credentials must be used. Client ID and password are hidden here in TrustTrack, but it is visible once you move the mouse arrow onto the Driver App section. I will present TrustTrack Driver Application, which can significantly improve driver and dispatcher communication during task execution. For successful login, you need to use credentials created and provided within TrustTrack platform. First, enter the client ID. Then, fill in driver username and password. Also, you can select the needed language from the list of the supported languages. English, German, Finnish, Norwegian, Danish, Ukrainian, Georgian, Dutch, and Swedish languages are supported. The English language will be selected for this demo. The app menu is intuitive and easy to use. No additional how to use explanations needed. The most convenient, simple white background design means no distractions for the driver. In the menu, we have task module, camera, and communication functions. Let's go through each one of these. In the task function, the dispatcher can create and send tasks to the driver, and the driver can confirm the completed tasks. For the first task, you can see the map. For the other tasks in the list, you do not see the map, but they are listed as shown. Tasks are arranged by the earliest arrival time. In this case, the earliest is Berlin to Paris task. Task progress is visible. Tasks in progress are marked in green color. Not confirmed or started tasks have no such color indication. For example, as with Amsterdam to Munich task here. You can see the task length in kilometers as well as the total duration of the task. So let's look into Berlin to Paris task in more detail. We can see the zoomable map together with task's waypoint indications. Waypoints in blue circles are finished ones, and waypoints in white circles means they are not yet finished. For example, the Berlin waypoint is finished already, while the Paris waypoint is not yet completed and marked in white still. Here is the Google Navigation option, which allows the driver to be redirected to Google Maps, so the driver can efficiently reach the location of the task. For example, if you press Navigate, you will be redirected to Google Maps as demonstrated. How to complete the task? Well, no additional information is provided by the dispatcher in the notes section. So if the driver has passed the waypoint already, he can be confident that done can be pressed. After a confirmation signature is provided, the task completion is being confirmed. We can come back to the task list and continue the work with the next task assigned. The task management has never been so easy. The chat function allows us to have a smooth conversation between the driver and dispatcher. The chat function is very convenient. 
we can go into the chat, check up the history, or send the message to the dispatcher now. We will know whether the message was sent because the sent notification is available. Also, scene function allows us to check whether the message has been already read by the recipient. Files can also be added here. We can send up to 3 megabytes of data in various formats, for example, Excel, Word, PDF, Photos. It is very easy to communicate with the dispatcher because the dispatcher gets the messages and files directly in the Trust Tracks communication module. So, the communication between driver and dispatcher is straightforward as the messaging and file exchange works both ways between the driver app and Trust Track. Camera module is accessible from the middle of the lower screen side. Camera module allows you to take a photo with an option to preview the picture before sending it and then send it to the Trust Track. Automatic flash turn on mode is also included for improved picture quality. Let's check how it works. Select the camera and take a picture of the document. The flash comes on, and we are able to send it directly to the dispatcher who is using Trust Track's communication module. In the chat, we see that the picture was sent successfully because there is a blue tick next to the photo, which identifies that the picture was sent. It is worth to mention that the driver app has EcoDrive module available. It is accessible via the three dots mark on the upper right-hand side corner. The driver has the possibility to track his own performance regarding EcoDrive parameters. For example, harsh braking, acceleration, fuel consumption, and other parameters. As you can see, TrustTrack driver app is really easy to use and designed specifically making the task management convenient and efficient. If you want to log out of the application, you need to access the logout function via the three dots mark on the upper right hand side corner. Once we press logout function, we are directed to the sign in page again. Thank you for watching.